Welcome to the Dropping a Coil Show with Larry Woods, Rob Works, and me, Flash. On this, the uh, second day of July, my favorite month of the year, 2020. And a uh, special thanks to Grimner for giving us a place to do this stuff at. And for the bots and bodies tonight, or well, my night, we have uh, for your chatting extravaganza. Barman, Cowboy, Tech, Grimner, Kate, Anti, Chelsea, Denny, Seth Glow, but she's not home yet, Chloe, Singular, Dan Van Meter, me, Frumpy Work, Graham Z, J Dread, Meister Brow, Prince, Rob Works, Trust No One, Van White, Weather Dork, The Phantom, CC66, Cyborg Noodle, E-Man, Ensiv, Jays, Nine Jays, Woods, O One, Matt, WJ, Two O O Two, Ponsa, Sock Puppet, The Holiest Roger, and Z Picks. So if you feel like chatting, make a name in the RLM chat room and argue about the color orange. It gets a lot of attention. What do you say, Larry and Rob? Uh-oh. Okay. Happy Christmas in July. How do you mean that, sir? Well, this is almost it's almost halfway there, and that means that if you think it's Christmas, then it's colder outside. Yeah. Oh, that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, but if you if you live in Denmark, it usually is cold outside. <laughs> so that's more than normal. <laughs> Those folks that live in that kind of climate just amaze me. I don't see how they do it. I would freeze to death. Well, it's I'm not that bad. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. I'm I'm more like the 74. I think I think 74 is like totally perfect. But I start to get cold feet at 72. <laughs> Anyway. I've got cold feet now, and it's almost 80 in here. Hey, do something about that circulation, mister. Anyway, Let's Rob, Rob was entertaining us before the before we came live on the air here with a story about black eyes and all kinds of interesting shit. Um, did, you, did you want to do anything about that one? Uh, it was, I just thought it was interesting, yeah. that video uh, from Turkey. That it's... it's uh, it's the Turkish government media channel or whatever did this well, then I, uh, okay. uh, show on adrenochrome. Ah, and, okay, and I get it. All the famous and political leaders that are using it and how it's produced. And uh, I, I imagine most people in the channel know about it. I know we've all talked about it before. Um, and they know that it's produced by uh, creating terror and fear in small toddlers and children and then extracting the adrenochrome from their system. That's how it's produced. You have to create a fear response to get it, the body to produce adrenaline. Well, adrenochrome is the precursor to adrenaline and it's only produced in small children, very young toddlers and such. And so Larry uh, actually probably knows more of the details as far as that stuff goes. What do you say, Larry? Well, I don't know a whole bunch of the super details about it. Uh, it supposedly is more of a drug and more addicting than heroin and gets you high as a kite uh, for long periods of time as well as giving you what they would say is rejuvenating you, making you younger. Yeah, it has uh, a 60% anti-aging factor or something. Yeah, and... That's kind of neat, and I would like to have something like that, but I don't want it if it's extracted the way they say it is. Uh, 
I don't. Right. Yeah. The little kids are the joy of my life. I like to see little kids having fun and playing and giggling. I don't want to see them screaming and crying. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's just one of the, it, the it's got those people do that. Yeah. It's got such a high content of adrenaline in it that it breaks a blood vessel in your eye. So and that's, that's a not good. Black eyes, yeah. yeah, that's where the black eyes come from. I originally, when I started seeing all those people with black eyes, I originally thought that somebody was punching them when they didn't follow orders. Yeah, that's. Exactly but that's the case. You know, uh, somebody, somebody got out of line and they got taken to the back room. Yeah. You know. And, uh, but that's not the way it is. So, but, and there's, there's a lot, I haven't done any research as far as who's doing it, but just on that little video, um, you know, they showed, well, they started off talking about, uh, what's her name, uh, Jeez. Actress. Hillary? Uh, no, the actress uh, from uh, Demolition Man. Uh, I have no idea. I think it, um, it'll pop in my head in a second. Sandra Bullock. Okay. Yeah, Sandra Bullock. It actually talks about uh, Sandra Bullock on the Ellen DeGeneres show. That's one of the things that did. In the first of the video, it talks about Grant's just mentioned uh, Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, Sandra Bullock did an interview on her show, and Ellen asked her, "How do you stay so young and vibrant and blah blah blah?" And she talked about, "Well, they take these little uh, injections and put them in your skin, and it's and it's uh, and basically she describes it, but without actually saying." And then Ellen jumps in and says, oh, yeah, it's uh, cells taken from foreskins or something like that, you know. <laughs> okay. To, you know, to, to kind of take it away, you know, kind of make a joke out of it. As with Ellen, we know what a foreskin was. Ouch. Oh. Snap. <laughs> I doubt if she's ever seen one. Well, that's what she uh, says. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. You got to you got to think about Those somebody people. that'll sit next to that, that Weinstein guy. What was his name Weinstein? Big guy. Yeah. Big gorilla looking guy. Hardy. The kind of guy that women flock to because they're so adorable. Yeah, they want a freaking part on him. Especially the lesbian ones. They they really like those guys. Yeah. I don't know. I think we get lied to about a lot of shit. <laughs> but if you don't yeah. know that you're being lied to, then what difference does it make? Yeah, well, no, most people don't exactly. have the interest to even look into it. To, to well, realize. that's pretty much where I'm at on the celebrity thing, but the concept behind it, no, I pay attention a little bit. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because I'm a competitive human being by nature. Mm -hmm. Well, we get in there and play a little bit of uh, trivia on Sundays now and again. Now you do. You I've play played, it, I've played against you. You're, you're quick. Thing. Well, yeah, but there's a lot of people that are answer quick, but typing um, hindered. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like me. <laughs> the, I can't but, type yeah. to save my ass. But I still yeah. get in there and play. And yeah. I see you in there, so you you play. You know. We got heads full of all this trivial shit that who can even tell you why you didn't remember it. Right. <laughs> it's up there. Yeah, I wish we could uh, delete a bunch of the uh, Hollywood and Oliver oh. shit and add a bunch of <laughs> Ask better questions. Huh? <laughs> you know? Maybe we should Something we should do a collection and, and buy a decent game that might cost a few dollars. Just all, all the players just uh, chip in a few bucks to buy it. Shit, that'd be... If there is one, I don't know. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, we're adults. Sure we we could figure something out. For that kind of thing. 
Ooh, Miss Mary's being rude, rude to Miss Ellen. I love you. Yeah. Hey, baby. Oh, oh, that's my too. wife. Wow. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> anyway, well, she had to go to work, so she just got home. Uh, welcome home, honey. Yeah, pretty much. And then I'm she just comes in when I'm doing the radio with you guys. Yeah, she's just getting home at eight o'clock. Yeah. So, what does that bother you? Some yeah, reason, Ron? I was trying to eight o'clock. Oh, it's still daylight. Uh, it's like, oh, it's fine. Daylight here too. Yeah, be, we get sunlight this month till midnight. Uh, and even I then, I fish myself to death. Uh, yeah, you want to do a Monday, uh, a Monday report, yeah, and the Monday meeting report. The Monday meeting report. Uh, that. You up to it? Oh, yeah. We can do a Monday meeting report, or we can do a fishing report. Whatever you want. You take your choice. That way, I know what to write in the order it happens. Okay, fishing report because it was wildlife fishing day. Uh, there were bunches and bunches, probably 40 or 50 geese, and they were at all stages of age. There were the adults that were full adults. They were the, the first hatches that came out earlier this year. And there were still some of the babies that were fuzzy. It was really kind of nice to look at. I really enjoyed that part. And then a little bit later, I was visited by three baby raccoons that lived under a tree. They came out of a hole under a tree that was a little bitty hole, just barely big enough for them to come out of. And that was kind of interesting. They played with me for five or ten minutes, and then I went on fishing. Uh, fishing was exciting. Uh, I had probably 10 or 12 bites that I could not land because I jerk before I feel the fish. When it splashes, I jerk, and that just shows you which end of the line the jerk is really on. Uh, <laughs> but I did manage to get four of them in the boat. Uh, they were all small, but it was a good day. I really enjoyed it. I was alone, and that makes for more critter vision because when I'm with somebody else, yeah. that damn worry will not shut up. <laughs> well, what a thing to do on a radio podcast. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> well, hey, we'll get a judge. He'll get you maybe wife in prison. Yep. Yep. we got to get that more to shut up so the critters come out. Nice peaceful day out in the water. <laughs> That's it. So that's that's the worst of it, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's well, it. So how about on the Monday me Monday meeting? I can type it, but I can't say the world. <laughs> anything new? In the, the world is yeah. yeah uh, so you do you have the a meeting? Yes, yes, yes. It was great. Uh, I've been having meetings all week long since Monday with uh, one of the instructors at Cambridge University. And uh, finally today, well, let me start back a little bit. A couple of days ago, I started working on exactly how to wire a MOSFET and how to change the coil into the MOSFET. And I finally got it worked out and got the wiring diagram completed. And today I talked with the gentleman from Cambridge and said, it's fine when we have our four-hour meeting on Saturday uh, with just him and his assistant. Uh, I want you to come with an empty cup. The only thing that your textbook is good for is keeping the wires separated as they come out of the coil. And he said, well, okay. But in the past, every time I've, I've tried to get him to wire it a certain way, he says it can't work like that, and he gets frustrated, and 
within an hour we we lose control and he just goes away. So this time he promised that he's going to follow instructions. He already knows that he can get four times the output from the input in this coil, uh, this particular style. And this isn't even a good style. This coil is effectively 12 pound cake coils stacked vertically in a circle, uh, which means that you get zero or almost zero magnetic field in the vortex of the coil. You get a Saturn ring type magnetic field outside the coil and the major field is inside the coil in the ring of the coil uh, between each of the pancake circuits. Okay. So uh, it, that particular coil can get four to one. Uh, when I say four to one, one volt through one ohm of conductor yields one amp. Well, with this coil, you put one volt through four, one ohm of conductor and get four amps. So it's a, it's a little bit better, but it's not the best. Uh, but Saturday, we'll have him wire it correctly so that... Uh, what what their problems were, there are, they've already got an over-unity circuit. Uh, that's all electronic components, all solid state. Nothing moves. Well, that's real sweet, but they can only use it for five minutes before it burns the MOSFET out. And a MOSFET is simply a switching device. Right. So they burn those up, and, and it doesn't work, and it costs them a lot of money. So, you're so to make a I have one more time. So you're going to show him how to make a MOSFET coil? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm going to show him how to wire the coil. Yeah, so that it won't burn out. Yeah, he. Yeah, yeah, he's already got one that that's that's wound, and I'm going to show him how to make the connections on that board or on that coil to do everything that his electronic circuit does without electronic components. We've got a MOSFET, we've got resistors, we've got capacitors, we've got a buck boost transformer, we've got, uh, what else, we've got diodes, all out of a coil. Yeah. So, if, if he gets that Saturday, then he will be well on the way. This is, this is a component coil. And you use it in conjunction. It'll it'll give you more power than you put in. It'll light LEDs, but that's crap. Everybody can make an LED light up. That is child's play. What we want is something that will power your refrigerator, something that will power your house, right? Not just something that'll light up a few a few LEDs. An LED just shows that there is voltage going through it. And that ain't no deal. It only takes a volt. That, that, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's nothing. It's, uh, it, it's something. It's really special and it's real sweet, but it's not what that can be done with a coil. So, I found so we're guy. just going to help him out. Yeah, I found, your, I found your guy. The guy we're talking about uh, is... Uh, his department is nanophotonics and optoelectronics. He's a whiz. He is really a genius in, in his field. But his field deals only with what's in the books. And well, yeah, the book yeah. tells you three parts of something that's five parts. Right. Yeah, I get that. So... Um, yeah, there's there's some really smart people in this stuff, and they're they're beginning to understand now that that there's more to life than volts, amps, or ohms. Right. Well, that's interesting. It'll be uh, good to see the them. Yeah, it's going to be fun of, of things like this. 
Yeah, uh, it, it will be interesting to find out if after we go public and, and he gets to release the information, uh, whether or not Cambridge changes their curriculum and adds magnetism and frequency to their electronics. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't hold my breath on that one, not for a while. <laughs> really? Well, they're into frequency and they understand that. But they don't understand how you can create a magnetic circuit that interacts with an electric circuit. The magnetic circuit boosts can, the output of an electric that. circuit. How can they not understand that? I don't get. I mean, I'm a, I'm a layman <laughs> compared to these people, and and it's you produce electricity by running a, con, a conductor through a magnetic field. I mean, how can magnetism not be involved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they they just leave that part out of their creativity. Yeah. Uh, and not only that, if if they need three volts out of a five volt system, they dump two volts to ground. Well sure, yeah. go ahead and pay for the extra yeah, stuff that you're not using. Volts, yeah. That's dumb. Yeah. Now this captures everything and it spends nothing to ground. Right. Um, this loops it all, puts it back in the system. Right. And when you've got multiple, when you've got multiple circuits on a coil, it's easy to put stuff back into it. Uh, you don't, you don't just have one circuit to deal with or two. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. I have a question. Something that's been that's bouncing around my head. Um, on all these systems that you've got, the the, the power generation specifically, they need a ground, right? And what for? I'm asking you. Uh, okay, yes or no? Let me just get to my question. How would one of your systems work on a boat? Perfect. So it doesn't have to have an actual ground See, ground. It can use... Oh, okay, on the, on the boat, you take the spiral coil that makes three rotations before it goes through the middle, and once it goes through the middle, it makes three rotations before it meets on the outside edge. A Saturn coil. Put a hull back array, a Saturn coil. No, this is, this is a spiral coil. Put a hall back array in the center of that, and you get 12 volts AC to ground. Nobody can do that yet. We can. You get 12 volts AC to ground. You put that 12 volts into this Saturn coil, and that produces four times the energy. And you run your boat motor on that with no moving parts. Nothing to burn up, and right. you got it. That's that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, so uh, and it'll weigh maybe five pounds. How much will that power? Uh, well, at, at four times the input and twelve volts at uh, at what is he getting? Fifty milliamps. So the 200 milliamps, which isn't a whole lot, but then you put it through a different coil and get 10 times that. Okay. Well, let me bet, let me so let me, it, let me attack this from the other direction. On a boat, say you have a uh, a 50 horse motor on a boat. How much power would a 50 horse electric motor draw? I'd have to do the calculations. Uh, probably okay. around 20, 25, maybe 30 amps. Okay, so. You get 30 so amps at 3 volts, so a flat wall and coil. So, what would we need to run that? You need a flat wound coil and a Saturn coil and the uh, spiral coil. 
Okay. Three coils at five pounds a piece. Okay. And would that uh, produce uh, enough left over to keep a battery bank charged too? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's just charging the battery bank. Just one circuit out of the twelve, uh, to the twelve flat. Okay. And and that's that is Tesla's single wire circuit. For all you Tesla freaks out there. Okay. All we've done is improve Tesla's equipment. That's it. Right. Oh, yeah, I could have done that in my basement <laughs> with my eyes closed. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Yeah. No, I couldn't. Come on. on I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> it, it, all it takes is study the patents and, and pay attention to where the spark gap needs to be rather than where he's put it. Hmm. And you do that, you only need 12 years of uh, higher education. Wow. And, and, uh, no. And, and, yeah, and just study a little bit. It's all on the Internet. No, the I'm system kidding. has spent a lot of time and money <laughs> keeping us away from this conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they don't want you to know how to create your own power. No, no. I'm Dependency more, I mean, is the key. I'm more on the, the lines of creating practical applications for it. I'll let you guys sure. build the cars and, and we'll buy them from you. And then... <laughs> That really seemed to be a reality. I mean, there you go. At so some point, fun. somebody's going to have to come up with the money to invest to automate the building, the coil, the winding of the coils. Otherwise, this thing isn't going nowhere. Because well, with the the people that with the three D. The people that have the the. First of all, desire and uh, tenacity to, to wind one of these things are going to be far and few between. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, but I with a 3D printed thing that's got the ridge where the beginning wire needs to go, right. that really makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I'd love to have one of those files that I could print one of them out with. <laughs> but um, maybe soon. Okay, yeah, I mean, keep working it. Now um, yeah, it'll be a while. Yeah, it'll be an STL file or a G code file. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm more interested in in coming up with the practical applications and. and Thing. Everything electronic can now be can now be replaced with with the Saturn coil. Every electronic component can be replaced with the Saturn coil. Right. So everything electronic that you've got your cell phone, your TV, your computer can all be replaced with a Saturn coil. And it's sizable. It, it, you can make it bigger, make it little. It'll still do the same thing. The size of the wire is, uh, dictates what amperage that you can get out of it. But it's going to get four times more amperage out of it than the wire is rated for. That means you can use four sizes smaller wire to get the same result. Right. And it, it may take two or three of them and a small electronic device to get what you need, but it's still going to be smaller, run cooler. Yeah. These don't heat up at all. These stay ambient temperature. Whatever your room temperature is is what yeah. the temperature of the coil is. But they do not do change. Another, another technology for, for making those small uh, components. But, They've, they've got 3D printers that print metal on a molecular level now. Yeah, That's wow. metal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, again, you're talking about a major investment into this. I mean, that equipment is, cannot be cheap. 
Yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to cost you a bunch of money if you want to make your own. Millions of dollars, Michael. Yeah. So. Oh, hey, y'all. We're, we're looking at $10 million for a startup. I've got $300,000 equipment list just for test equipment. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's it, it's going to take a little bit for us to get going. Yeah. So you're, you're talking about a, a serious road ahead. Just even thinking uh, about yeah, getting... But... What it is is that somebody, uh, let's take cars for instance. You're a car manufacturer and you want an electric car. So you pay me to consult to tell you how to change your, your machine over to an electric vehicle. Right. So that, that's where some of the money will come in. Uh, we'll make coils or somebody will make coils and sell them. Somebody will put together kits and sell them. Yeah. And these are all component parts. Out of these 12 coils, if you stack all 12 of them and put them together in the right order, that's a plasma mining machine that also separates out the ore according to its atomic weight. It digs the hole, it sucks it out, and it gives you each different thing in a pile. <laughs> Damn. So that, Fuck. That's, that, that's, how, that's how advanced this can be. But that takes all 12 of the coils. I feel okay. so, so obsolete. You buy one coil and it, <laughs> right. and it does something. And you buy another coil as a, as a component part to a kit. And that does that, that adds something else to what you can do. And you buy another coil, and that adds something else that you can do. Yeah. And it's it stacked. You want to go to Andromeda? That's seventeen hundred twenty-eight coils in a circle. Jeez, seventeen hundred twenty-eight. Yeah, uh, twelve cubed. Yeah. Um, you, you put 144 of them together, you got 1,728 circuits, and boom, you're in Andromeda. All you got to do is instill the proper frequencies into those coils to match the frequency of Andromeda. Or if you want to go to Saturn, you put the frequency in that matches the frequency of Saturn, and you go there, but that's only 144 circuits out of 12 coils. Okay. Depends on what you want to do as to which ones you put together. Depends on the output desired as to how many you put together. Yeah. If, if you want to run industry with it, you put 16 together. 17 together, excuse me. One of them has the 12 volt AC out of the coil, out of the spiral coil with a haulback array in it. That, you put 16 other coils on, above it and below it, eight above it and eight below it, and each of them with a ball magnet in them. The, when you put the haulback array in a spiral coil, that makes all the balls in the other uh, coils rotate. And that generates in all the other coils. It induces magnetically a field in all the other 16 coils. Right. There you go. There's your industry. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to, to start taking it out to the world. Oh. Well, what little bit of work there is for that for people. I mean, I'm not... The Saturn coil will kill people. The Saturn coil puts out a strong magnetic field on the outside horizon that projects. Uh -huh. That will kill people. Okay. But if you put that Saturn coil inside of a larger coil and then induce it, induce the larger coil with a Saturn coil, 
it'll be protected because the larger coil will be the Faraday cage for it. Yeah, it'll absorb it all. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That that induction will eliminate the the problem with the magnetic field. So there's ways around it. It's just we've got to get the manuals written so that people don't kill themselves. Because if people start killing themselves with it, they'll take us off the market. Oh, yeah. True. I'm I'm sure. Probably going to do that anyway. Yeah. Well, or maybe you'll get a, a big bonus for being overachievers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. That, that Rockefeller scam shit worked really well, good. That's, that's a major concern. I mean... Uh, if if you put these things out there and, and these people start messing around with them without knowing what they're doing, even if you have the manuals done, it, how many people read the fucking manual? Uh, Six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, some you know somebody's going to get hurt <laughs> eventually. Ouch. No. I mean, well, it's just we'll, human, it's human nature. I mean, people, are, if you, you give them something, they're going to play with it. Well, not too many people want to play with electricity. Bro. No, that's You're, true. They're, most of them are very, uh, what's the right word? They respect it out of fear. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, my experience with what little bit I did. Most, but you still I got, have that, that, that range percentage. Yeah, that's what I mean is the the people that will really take this seriously, they they're already they're no better. A weapon. <laughs> what can we do with that? Well, yeah. You know, you're talking to like a wow, subway and turn not, it on and see what happens. I, well, I, you take, know, you take, take your safety label off. Take it where mm. your mind takes it. I mean, if I can think of it, why oh. can't somebody else? Wow, well, you Thank God. You're just being paranoid. No. <laughs> Take the safety label yeah, off I and mean, then prove the gene to it. It's Murphy's Law. <laughs> <laughs> if people can come yep. up and, with a way to do something, <laughs> they'll do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what I mean. Wow. I know exactly what you mean, but... Somebody's going to do it. Somebody's going to say, I mean, I've, I've seen the, the possibility. I've already talk, brought it up and mentioned it. Yeah, you know yeah. about how you know what we just put a. We were talking about uh, having a Faraday cage on it. Uh, mm -hmm. What if we just have a Faraday cage with a with a shutter on one side? <laughs> you can just point it in whichever direction you want to go and open the shutter and uh, take out Ouch. whatever you need to take out. Right, come on, I mean it's not that hard. To to. So you but you're putting all all the electro. Electro guys on a psycho level. <laughs> Let's make a weapon out of this. There's well, come on, people are going to do that no matter what. They're, they've done it with other shit. Well, yeah, can't yeah. stop them. Well, you could just breed it out of them like they're doing in the in the school system. Yeah, raise a bunch of kids that don't even know what gender they are. Well, <laughs> you yeah, just go I mean, call me number no, three. There's that. Yeah. <laughs> This exists in the world that we're in right now. There are kids out there that are freaking prodigies. They, they want to change. Change by gender. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm having a hard time finding a bathroom because I can't find one that's labeled fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're out there in the lake. Guess where you're weeing. <laughs> Generally speaking, what else we got? I don't know. Is that it? Everything, everything you want is what we have. Oh. Well, let's go on a new kind of fishing lure. Um, oh, we must, we uh, made it. Yeah, let's talk fishing. about fishing. We we changed the the blade. We made it where you can change the blade on a spin. Bait type lure. Well, that's sweet. Uh, they've got a new lure out called the Whopper Plopper. It came out two or three years ago. It's got it's a real hard lure and it's got a lot of treble hooks on it, and it's got a tail that that's just got a single paddle on it that plops around, plop, 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 
And that's pretty good. That that draws the big fish sometimes. And I just found some that are similar to that, but they're the uh, uh, soft body plastic with the hooks that turn up, two hooks that turn up, and they've still got this this plop 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 tail on them. I tried them out for the first time yesterday. That's why I miss so many fish. They explode on it, but they don't hit it. I mean, they're they're hitting it, but they're not eating it. They got to take it under and and eat it. Well, when they jerk, I jerk, and that tells you who the jerk is because they don't have it in their mouth. They just hit it, and they're going to come back to eat it because it's soft. <laughs> and it's, they're, they're new and exciting, and I told my fishing buddy about it today, and I'm probably going to have to arm wrestle him to keep him from taking them. <laughs> he wants them. <laughs> Oh. Okay, I'm done. That's it. <laughs> That's it, my folks. Come back next time. We'll have something to talk about. Yeah, whopper proper. <laughs> there you go. Whopper proper. I got a kick out of that. A whopper proper. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what they call them. And it there would be a good saltwater lure. Uh, they make a lot of racket, and you can make them big enough for the big fish to bite them. Right. They they uh, they disturb the water in such a fashion that the the fish just think that it's something that's having a problem, and uh, fish are are just programmed. If it's dying or hurt, you eat it. Yeah. Oh. Easy prey. Wow, just like yeah. us. Who knew? Yep. <laughs> Politics is born. Woo. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, They're doing oh, it. We. We're next, too, guys. We're, well, Larry's in the yep. 60 to up. And we're, well, it's not mine, I guess. We're in the 60 to up. They didn't get us. Did they fuck up or did, did we do something right? <laughs> I <laughs> see both of the above. Well, come on. It's kind of obvious they're calling the herd. Calling the herd. Guess what I am, guys? Or this fucking herd. <laughs> yeah, they're always calling the herd. I know, but I'm part of the damn herd. I don't want to be a part of the herd. It's getting I cold. Hope. Hey, stop that. <laughs> but, hey, guess what they're doing? I'm ready to be cold. I want to go back to where I was when I died. That was beautiful. All encompassing. You see everything all at the same time. You're part of everything all at the same time. It's beautiful. Like without the body thing going on. Yeah. No pain, no worries, no sense of heat or cold. Everything is perfect. Hmm. Hey, that sounds like an acid trip. <laughs> yeah. Similar to yeah. an acid trip I took without leaving the room one day. Yeah, oh, yeah, I was well known in my neighborhood for traveling without going anywhere. <laughs> well, they called it tripping, but <laughs> I thought it was going places sometimes. <laughs> Not every time. Never yeah, mind. Well, I do have a question, though. The, the good stuff always had a terrible burning sensation when I ate it. When you're not supposed to put it in your eye. No, probably, and I didn't, but uh, I just under the tongue did. But I remember this, like, weird taste, flavor, like metallic something weird. Can't identify it by name, but I mean, it's familiar. If I did it again, I'd know it. <laughs> When well, you did it, did you get the strict nine grain? I think that's what it was. Yeah, the, the crunching wow. of the teeth. Yeah, that's strict nine. Yeah, yeah. strict nine. Ah, okay. I forget these things. I mean, this is many years ago when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, you, and, don't, you don't get real acid anymore. 
Well, supply lines to the real world out there might be cut, but the black uh, black market's still doing good. Yeah. In case you guys were concerned about the cannabis consumption here on this side of the world. Oh, cannabis, that's another story. Well, that's what I do now. Well, what do you mean? It's still illegal. What it's just not, about it's a money thing. It's not, <laughs> like the people aren't afraid of it. They know it's a money yeah. cash cow. Yeah. So they go with it because 57% want the damn law to change and the other 43 like the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, majority rules in a communist country, baby. I'm telling you. <laughs> but strangely enough, I mean, just to throw a little weird stuff into the show tonight, I have seen people sitting in public by the train rolling a spliff. And it's your job cool. to get that nosy that you want to walk, walk over there and see if it's just tobacco or not because people roll their own. So, eh. yeah. What what are they rolling, and what business is it of mine anyway? So I just I, don't, I just keep walking. I make my yeah, assumption that I go to the bar and have a beer. <laughs> yeah. But I never call the police and tell them there are marijuana smokers and they need to investigate them because they could be doing crime. No. Because the more stoned I seem to get, the lazier I become. <laughs> I don't become a criminal mastermind after my second joint. <laughs> I'm more like, you know, try to figure out how to get the rest of those Doritos out of the bag without breaking them. <laughs> Important shit, right? I'm, I'm making fun of being high. Well, I think people make way more of being high than the reality of what being high is. It's not all that exciting. It's kind of calm. I just create. Yeah. See, I don't want to go creating. take off my clothes and go jump outside, uh, do cartwheels in the street naked. I want to sit here at the I computer. Do. <laughs> okay, Larry. So, whoops. <laughs> well, they're calling the herd. That would be a way to get called. <laughs> yeah. I want to entertain Nobody the would. masses. Somebody will take you home as their pet jester. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look what I know. Mm, okay. <laughs> well, yep, all the crazy folks ain't dead yet. Could always be hard well, to count. <laughs> well, the crazy <laughs> folks really have been rioting and looting and breaking and pillaging and shit like that, right? Yeah. That stuff all did yeah. happen. Okay, but somehow or another... You're 50 United States, baby. <laughs> yeah. And you guys are going to stand together. Right. Well, can I ask you one question? Whoa. Who are you standing against <laughs> besides each other? <laughs> That's it. Uh -oh. Like I say, I'm a good American. I hate everybody equally. Ha, ha, ha. You're funny. Just because you say that's it. what they want us to Well, do. that's what they want you to say. They don't expect you to mean it. No. I don't think you mean it. I think you just say it because you're smart ass. But you got to oh, understand, yeah, but... one thing that's really important, Larry, about me is I have no idea what's going on in the world. No, I only know what's going on in my living room or the place I'm at at the time. The world, I don't, I don't know. It's out there. <laughs> it does shit. I go to the store and buy things yeah. from Peru. So, yeah. Yeah. I know the world's out there well, somewhere, but I don't, I don't have to look at it. Like we went when we yeah. went to That's Indonesia. When doing, yeah. They oh, when when we went to Indonesia, they say, "Oh, be careful! Those people over there are Muslims. They'll kill you. They'll lie to you. They'll steal from you." <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Those people were better and nicer Christians than the people over here. They were were loving and friendly and happy and yeah, uh, we we fall for the propaganda. Yep, and don't do that. 
Yeah, it was every just, attitude you wish to receive. It would never be a natural thought out of nowhere to despise somebody else because of the color of their skin. You got to be taught that kind of stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, well, I was never I was never taught it. But I saw the grown-ups behave that way around me. But I didn't I was never encouraged to participate in that. They never like sat me down and went, "Hey, this is how it is. <laughs> they, they let me choose my own way. No, you, you, you have to make me not like you. Hmm? Hey. But I, I had the opportunity yeah. to be a racist if I wanted to. And a race card that nobody could be. But I thought it was a chicken shit win. So I went with being white. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, there would have been lots of social advantages financially for me in school days. If I would have harped on my Jewish Mexican bloodline, <laughs> but no, I didn't think. I thought it was cheating to to use that kind of shit. So I didn't. So, anyways, Larry, hmm. you've inspired Chloe. She's going to attempt to uh -oh. make LEDs. Wow! Hey, you start somewhere and you find out what you're interested what in in life, huh? Gonna watch some of these videos on making LEDs. You mentioned how easy they are. Might be a good place to start. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. An LED is an easy thing. See, I told you you had a fan yeah. club out there, Larry. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I'm not the only one. Go for it, Chloe. <laughs> you, can, oh. you can make an LED, and then all you got to do is put a little bit of voltage to it from a battery, and mm -hmm. then you light your room. Oh, and then if we cool. can get one of the Facebook um, people that on RLM to repost your show, well, our show, onto the Facebook, because me and Rob don't have Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like uh -huh. if Larry could do it, but I don't know. Larry's I'm not a good tech. We were supposed to be getting Larry some, something to post on his page. Some help. And we didn't do that. Oh, we, we yeah, didn't. yeah. Send, send me a week and I'll post we it. dropped a bomb on it. Um... No. Well, you could just that way people will know who to shoot. Is the, the real liberty meeting, I think. Uh. Well, I don't really. I I do understand the side of it that it's it's about money, and then on the other hand, I think that if if enough people were informed, amongst those people would be the people that are interested, and in a group you can pretty much make anything if, if you work together. Just find out who's yeah. got strength in what department, and you go with that. Dude, it's just in not what hard. Department, and you go with that. Dude, it's just uh -oh. part. Part of our group is is working on Bedini Motors and Belisima Motors. So all they've got to do, they're having problems burning out the electronics. Now we have that solution. Once they get all their stuff together. Put our stuff in with it. Boom! You've got something that operates without burning up the parts. It's I, I'm cheap. I don't want to have to replace anything. I don't want to have to fix anything. I want to buy it one time and get it over with. Yeah. I'm going with Larry on that one. He, yeah. he, I'm I'm voting for Larry now. <laughs> Fuck you, Trump. <laughs> Right. <laughs> uh, I don't think you could drag Larry in that oh. job. And uh oh, Chloe's not on the wire up here with us, is she? I don't think so. Okay, I saw Rob drop it in the wire, but put it on the main feed. She could put it in Facebook. I did. I, if you asked her really nice, I bet I bet she would. I did that. Oh, did you? I don't know. I get blocked and ignored by so many people. <laughs> So I got a bad attitude, <laughs> and, I, and I talk a lot of political shit. <laughs> so, I think Facebook is is canceling some of my some of my followers. Uh, Wouldn't doubt it. I go down by a follower about once a week, and oh. I when when people say that they followed me, I look and they're not there. Oh, well, I don't care. Oh, it's not a matter of that. It's a matter of the uh, Google and YouTube people are, they're censoring us. 
Yeah, on Facebook. Yeah. Too. Slowly but surely. Yeah. Chip, oh, chip, yeah. chip. Well, you a little there. Yeah, Facebook just... Yeah. Every time I post the live frequencies, yeah. they take it off. Oh, yeah. it's out, uh, false Sorry. information. Fact check. Yeah. Well, the way I feel about it, if fact check says it's wrong, that proves to me that it's right. <laughs> See, that's that's why I like Larry the most. There's the, the cornerstone of the whole thing. You know, he calls them like he sees them. Wow. You don't seem to play favorites. Yeah, I'm an old guy. I can get away with it. But going with the truth is so un it's unpopular. The truth is always the last oh, thing that the mind wants to believe. You know, we all want to hear the good story. Oh, let's, let's believe the one that works and yeah, people are happy. <laughs> no, let's tell the truth and get rid of Israel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can solve your whole American problem in one easy step. Yeah. If you listen Israel to closely, <laughs> all your sitting people of position in government that are holding allegiance to Israel, which is all of them, they need to go. <laughs> Send them all to Israel. Yep. Yeah. Stop yeah. doing business yeah. with Israel at every level of everything and everybody will be okay. But it's too hard to believe. <laughs> well, there's the yeah. chosen people and all that shit. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but who chooses them? I don't know. <laughs> It wasn't me, but like yeah, me, I'm one of them. The <laughs> wrote a book and said, hey, we're the chosen people. <laughs> hey, if you were one of us, you'd go, hey, that's kind of cool. I like that. I, I can dig it. <laughs> anyway, I interrupted. Burning out their electronics it is expensive to do a little Jew bashing on the show. Sorry, guys. I apologize. <laughs> I just had a moment. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm all well, for real Jewish people. I'm all against the Zionists. Well, you know, Larry, it's not even a matter of real or fake. It's a matter of if if you're so desperate in life that you need a group to cling on to that destroys everything they touch. It's not really a yeah. good thing to to talk about. <laughs> you you should keep it a secret. You know, like being in the <laughs> I don't know the CIA or maybe a, the KKK. Or the Illuminati. Right, but these people, they flaunt their nastiness right at us. And they do horrible shit right in front of everybody. They lie about who did it and blame somebody else. And the sheep just go, uh, uh. Yep. And again, continue. I didn't do it. You did it. Okay, but they their fault, not mine. Come to the end with the, with the dollar. They can't make it. What are they going to do now? How many more trillions of dollars can they print? <laughs> you can't print them. Oh, keep on. So, keep on. Keep on. Let yeah. the Fed buy up all the debt. Let the Fed buy everything. Boy, yeah. that's good because pretty soon they're going to have to go bankrupt. Yeah, they and already they are bankrupt. The Department of Takeover. They've been yep. bankrupt for, what, 80 years? It's just an ongoing... Injury. Long time. It's an ongoing collective scam. And we, the public, are told shit, and we do shit. And if it was any of it was true, we wouldn't be in the mess we're in right now, <laughs> or the mess that's coming to us in the not too distant future. You know, that's what I think. If you're if you're having trouble right now, it's probably got something to do with the government. <laughs> I don't think it's your neighbors. Your neighbors may be irritating cunts, but it's the government that's doing it all the shit to us. Making ah, it. she moved out. I think so. One of the frequencies. What, she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, you oh, know what I mean. People, yeah. people get on each other's <laughs> nerves anyway. But the what's really behind us getting on each other's nerves is the actions of the governments. Yep. Well, I I shower in school. Well, when I go down to the bar and I walk in and they go, Hey, Louie, how you doing? I go, cool. You know, I'm not invisible and people know who I am. That's kind of cool. In a time in life when I read about masks and distancing. <laughs> so the exact well, opposite of what you guys are supposedly doing is what I'm doing. 
like always. I don't get exposed. I don't get exposed to the race thing. We've got one black family that lives within two blocks of me. I live in a predominantly white neighborhood. I go to predominantly white stores. I don't have any any knowledge of the actual black community. Uh, sure, they got black areas over in the city, but I'm 20 miles from that. Mm. So I, I've never been... My parents, in 1952, moved into this house because it was an all-white school district. When I was a junior in high school, we got one black teacher and had no black students. When I graduated the next year, we still just had one black teacher and no black students. Um, yeah. yeah, if you're you not know, indoctrinated I, into it, you don't know what it is. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah blind, you're I, blind to race. Yeah. Well, I've, yeah, I've we, encountered we a lot of people like you in my life. Yeah. No, I, I just don't. I don't know about it. I don't get involved with it. I treat everybody the same. I call black people sir when when a black man holds the door open <laughs> yeah. for me while he's coming in. I say yeah. thank you, sir. You know? Yeah. It, a little respect goes a long way. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And and our our crowd, our generation, boy, they're trying to drop us like a bag of dirt. Most people are like that, Larry. I mean, that's the norm. That's normal behavior. All this the opposite shit, of what Larry shit, said. <laughs> no, it isn't. You don't think so? No. It's bullshit. Uh, I think people are rude All compared to when I was young. Uh, bullshit on, from the media. They're oh, oh. That. They're pushing this racist bullshit. Way too far, right? Yeah, it's, way, it's, way too far. It's it's, it's all a fucking bill of goods. Well, they did the experiments with rats yeah. to get these results. They're, these they're, these people are professionals. They know what they're doing wrong. Trying to get be people to be this way. Is what yeah, this is all on do. purpose. But this isn't the way people are. They have been. Oh no, no, no! Not enough. by nature. No, we've been pushed. It's, you know. I, I gave a black man a fishing lure that we made at, at the lake two or three weeks ago, and he said, thank you, sir. And, you know, it's only a matter of, uh, I guess, if you're involved in the big city things. You know, yeah. We're way the hell out here in the country. The only place you're going to see this bullshit is yeah. in these, these yeah. large cities. Yeah, absolutely, where they're controllable. You can't get country people to get together in town all at the same time to protest about anything. Well, they don't have the money to pay that many people to spread out that far. Well, I think so. there's more white folks. Hmm? There's what? There's more white folks killing white folks and more black folks killing black folks yeah. than there are with whites killing blacks or blacks killing whites. Exactly. We kill the people that we don't like. Well, and mostly it's the white folks I don't like. Well, I don't know, Larry. I, That's I, 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 don't, know. I don't know a lot of black folks. Yeah, I, I'm going to be Jewish when I'm Larry now. So, yeah, it's a number yeah. thing. It's, it's the, the black folks I do know are wonderful people. You know what? I got a comment for you guys. So I think I wrote this one down today. I said, social media has lost its charm. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I read a lot of stuff about uh, how bad Twitter is and how bad Google is, how bad YouTube is. And all these things are what they call social media, right? Mm -hmm. So it seems as though social media is making a push to make itself unattractive. Maybe you know, like it, it's yeah, even right. though you're addicted to it, it's trying to push you away from it so you go find something else to do. Yeah, but that's a good idea for lots of folks. Well, 
put down that stupid phone, leave it inside the house, go outside, barefoot, retune your body to nature. Yeah, because uh, when I go out into the backyard to go do stuff, there's no computer out there. Okay, When I go to town to yeah. do my little errands and take a walk and whatnot, there's computer access, but I told you about the sign in the window. You know? We don't we don't make Wi Fi. You have to talk to each other, and it's in English. And <laughs> I love that. I thought it was painted on the window, and it was just a sign that can put it anywhere they want to. I went, "Oh, I've saved." <laughs> but the thing that gets me the most is that it's in English in Dan in a Danish in Danish country. country. Yeah. Well, in and they're a restaurant. Yeah. It just this goes to show that the people over here being multilingual is just normal. Some of them yeah, speak yeah, like yeah. five, there's, six, seven languages. Most of the world is well, much more well spoken than, than Americans. Well, no, it's so most, easy. Most of the pro most of the propaganda textbooks are written in English. Yeah, it's so easy to manipulate English, Rob. Because it's the dog Latin, you know, yeah. of the speaking world, if you remember. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, there's. Yeah been speculation, there's an article somewhere I read years ago about how English was designed as a language of control. Yeah, yeah. Mary really went deep into all that and started to get into the spelling part of it. And, yeah. and I think it all it all ties to the vibrations uh, and the frequencies and such, but yeah. how you speak about it, how you communicate is, it brings you people that will understand what you're saying. Because if Mary talks about it in this one one way, then sh her friends know what she's talking about. Right. That kind of thing. Because it's not a popular, it's still a fringe, this frequency and vibration. Hey, sir, brought the elixir. I haven't had an elixir on the show for tonight. Uh, do you hear the tinkle tinkle of my annoying spoon? Yes, we do. That's, yeah, that that's when the wife... That's me bragging the wife brought me coffee. <laughs> you must like you. I'm telling you, I don't know why. I can't figure it out. Uh, but, oh, anyway. Uh, what I wrote about there was, it said, are there different races? And, hmm, should have said of people, I think, to make it more clear in writing. Yeah, you but got the Daytona 500, you got the Indianapolis 500, you got the, uh, the you know, the other ones, you got the uh, Kentucky Derby, yeah, that's uh, a race. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got, uh, well, but just because something is different. You got the football head. And, uh, all right, but because something is different uh, to the um, to the eye, that doesn't always make it different to science or nature. You know, like you can get two different kinds of flowers, right? One on a cactus and one on a something you can touch. And they look like two different things, but they're very similar. <laughs> they're both plants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah, we're all humans. We all bleed red. Well, right, but most people can see the simplicity of, oh, yeah, they're both plants. But they can't see the simplicity of they're both people. No, the one on the right's got shifty eyes, and, and oh, I think you know. he's been looking at my wife over here. And, that, and my wife's sitting under the clock, and he's waiting for his wife. <laughs> we all go to the negative. It's you like, know that uh, right? all animal life is descended from mushrooms, right? Well, I've read it. I don't know. I, I'm listening to what according you say. To, according to uh, I don't doubt it, Paul but, but I don't know. How do I know? And I just sit says, here vibrating, Rob. Don't don't make it and difficult. The expert said so, <laughs> and you must believe the expert as gospel. Uh huh. Okay. Because he's an expert. Wow. Larry, you want to yeah, be an I expert? Have, uh, no, I don't want to spurt. You want that, to gas? That's what he would say. You want to gas? Huh? Um, well, that would be God. an expert. You used to spurt, but now you gush. So now you're an expert. See. That's it. Hey, I've got a question uh, from a question that Rob asked you, Larry. You mind? Because okay, Rob asked ahead. you earlier, he said, uh, how would the system, the electrical system, work in a, on a boat? 
And then I started to think, well, then how would it work in midair? Like, could you make drones and planes and all that? That never have to come down. All that kind of stuff. That never run out of fuel. So these, the only time you got to come down is when you got to pee. So these coils aren't oh, limited no, by no, no, any, no. any of the... I'm not going to pass up that opportunity. Okay. <laughs> you just... <laughs> okay. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. No, it's usually me interrupting with a joke. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got serious for a minute, and I started to think, well, if it works in, in the... Uh, not in the vicinity of water, right? Safely. So, hmm. yeah. Well, th- how many ways okay. could you use this? Let, let me explain to you what electricity is. Electricity does not need an earth ground. Electricity needs a power source that has one positive and one negative pole. That makes the loop complete. Electricity is nothing but a circle. Nothing but a circle. It goes from hot to neutral. One big circle. If you break that circle, it don't work anymore. So you can either switch the hot wire or you can switch the neutral wire. What I have done in these drawings today is switch the neutral wire to give the circuit all the components that it needs. Okay. It's as simple as that. You, you don't have to... You, the, the electricity doesn't know positive from negative. It's all a matter of how you hook it up. Right. The, the wire, the electricity doesn't know what color the wire is. <laughs> no. So... And that's the way people should be. Huh. Right. It's not as easy as it sounds, but it's true. I agree with the concept. Yeah. But the training has brought us to where we are. <laughs> Chloe wants to know where those drawings at. <laughs> <laughs> the patient grasshopper. I perked up on that drawings. I like drawings. Chloe, yeah, Chloe but does, the, she's a, uh, into architecture and drafting yeah. and stuff, so. Couldn't you throw her a bone on the um, Facebook and give her something to look at without tipping your hand? Because she's not. Believe me, I want to post this circuit. That, I want to post this circuit that we completed today. Just uh, more than you could ever know. I, I am so proud of this thing that we finally got it all down on paper and the way to do it right. Uh, it'll be in the book. It'll be in the books. It'll be in the book. Hey, and as long as we're still around and enjoy the show, post that's what matters. Facebook page there in the chat, Larry, if you would. My Facebook page? Yeah, yeah for yeah. Chloe. Just drop your link in there for Chloe, in case you doesn't have it already. We could make Chloe the president of the Larry Woods Communication Club. Yeah. For beginning electricians. <laughs> <laughs> hey, never know. You Take off. Don't worry about that. Well, if there, the more, ah, I'm just joking around, but I'm just making a point. The more people that find out, hey, I didn't even know I was interested in that. Let me try that. And then it leads to something else. So either you go, fuck, this hurts. I ain't doing it again. <laughs> or what happens if you do that? <laughs> never mind. Here, Did that lose in the way. translation, guys? Yeah, you killed the chat, man. No. Did I? Uh, I'm sorry. Well, let me, uh, that, let me bring this up. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. We need to, to stop saying it can't work. We could probably fly if somebody never told us that we couldn't. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Exactly, because I mean, we're... You know, we're so creative <laughs> and capable, too. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I was complaining about I burnt my it's arms, just, blah, blah, blah. I put a little bit of uh, coconut oil on it for a couple of days. Yeah. No, yeah. And it never really had any pain to it. It was just, oh, man, you're gonna, your skin is going to get all, you know, wrinkly. 
so took care of it like I was supposed to. Ah. It's called being uh, responsible for yourself. Yep. Mm -hmm. But who did you sue because you burned your arm? Myself. God, I would be somebody else's No, fault. I was clear about it. No, Larry, I was clear about it. I knew it when I was doing it. I, I, I was unavoidable without making a bigger mess than I was cleaning up. So I went with burn my arm instead. <laughs> Took one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but really because... And have to clean up a big mess. Right, but because of the fuel intake that I do have going for me and the exercise I get, amount of sunshine, all these little variables, uh, the burn was hardly a, a thing to be concerned with. Where if I was, you know, ill and weak and sickly and old, could have hurt me. I could have been, like, crippled forever. But no. No. <laughs> Not yet. How many times is going to get me eventually, but I'm not in a hurry. I'll wait. <laughs> I do it the Larry Woods way, and I go fishing. <laughs> yep. If at first you don't succeed, fuck it. Sucks for more seed. Yep. Well, control. that should be the All right. else fails, go fishing. No, this girl's going up to look at my boat today. Ouch. A boat. All right. See, crazy Jeez, water well, you, you got her going on, on the fish and she wants to go fishing real bad. <laughs> so she I, can go fishing. My favorite size boat is a 14-foot John boat that I can paddle. Oh, wow. I, yeah. I use a paddle. I don't use oars. When I get to where I'm going fishing, I put my paddle in the water and can move it without making noise. I lost it. I don't ever take it out of the water to move Be on a call. the boat. Mm. It's easy. It it's okay. one-sided. I don't got to know it's a J-stroke. Okay. Are you talking to Flash? Are you forgot the mute or something? Oh, that's because there was no sound coming from the headphones. I was completely alone on the radio. Oh, so I talked down? over you, Larry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Most people, when I'm with them, think they're alone anyway. You're <laughs> okay. <laughs> My headphones went blank. So Last is having I, his obligatory technical difficulties. I talk to myself when I'm around other people, too. So get used to it. <laughs> Part of the package. Well, but Moose Girl, that, Moose Girl, that 15 and a half foot boat with a 30 horse mercury on it, you can't get up into the kind of water that I fish. That boat won't even go that shallow. <laughs> I like a little bitty boat. Just, yeah. just like the Indians build a small fire and sit real close. White man builds a great big fire and sits way back. Yeah. The way I am with men. Different strokes for different folks. This girl said, okay, Larry. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're all simple in some areas, just not every area. Larry? Moose girl, let's go fish. <laughs> there you go. Larry's weakness is the fishing. <laughs> I think he'd go fishing in a, a car if he could figure out how to get it in the water. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. No limits, huh? No limits at all. I'm looking for a woman that can paddle the boat and cast the plug. With her own fishing gear. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Advertising. It's all it takes to make Robbie me happy. Cool. So, there you go. Life is good. Yes. Yes. Those girls, those she can cast and paddle. Absolutely, come come on, come okay, on. Like said, Make your old man stay at home. <laughs> well, we did interrupt his, Larry's last rant. It was about, he said, what electricity is, it's hot to neutral. And then we started screwing around. <laughs> yeah, we did. So, but I just read it, it, so I thought, hey, let, let's bring it back to class. Class. Yeah, yeah class. class. There we class. go. 
<laughs> but your spit wads up. Oh, oh man, hey. good old days. <laughs> but now, if you want to have serious talk time, you were you were at what electricity is, and then it is hot to neutral. It's a hot to neutral, a know. difference in potential. Yeah, it's a difference in potential. That's all. Oh. Your battery has got a whole bunch of plates in it. There's one more negative plate than there are positive plates. That's all there is to it. There's a difference in potential between the two plates of about a volt and a half. That's why the, the battery gets 12 volts out of it. Because it's got 24 plates. Uh, it doesn't have 24 plates. It's got... I don't know, nine plates, something like yeah, that. Yeah. So but if you had uh, the, more positive than you did negative, you'd have a positive ground system? Yeah. Is that yeah. But see, remember, the reason that we ground things is because the earth is more negative. So we put our positive system, which is the input voltage, when it when we use it, then we put it back to earth. That's why we pay so dad blame much on our on our energy bills, is because the imbalance and the load goes back to the ground wire, so that it gets back to the panel. And once it makes that circuit, it bleeds out on the ground wire that goes into the ground or the earth, and. We can capture that energy right there and reuse it, put it back into the system, and that'll lower your power bill by over 30%. Yeah. That's just the way that is. The power company won't tell you that because they want to sell you all the energy they can. No, they're greedy fuckers. No. No. Takes us Oh, that kind of really. takes, us, takes us back to the power company, charges you on a regular basis for the highest 15 minutes of consumption you have during a billing cycle. So if, if one day you turn every single thing on in the house all at one time, that's going to be the maximum or the minimum amount of power that the power company has to have for you available all the time. That's your basic power bill. So they trick you with turning one more time. More. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, because yeah. all this crap is not necessary. It's manufactured so they can make money. Yep. But yeah. they, uh, an efficient generator. So you're, an efficient generator is only 60% efficient. So you're surrounding yourself with people that understand all these things at different levels, too, right? The big meeting on yeah. Monday. So they're not necessarily yeah. capable in electric, but they got some way to understand it better through what they know. Absolutely. Wow. And that's what's taking us so long. We've got to bring everybody up to speed electrically so that they understand how these systems work. Then they can apply them to their own field of knowledge. On top of the reality that everything they learned about how this should work doesn't apply. Uh, in most cases, yeah. I listen to the, the very basic stuff still applies. Right, but I listened to Rob, and uh, what it seemed to me listening was, if you have the right math equation for a wrap to make a coil, that helps. Starting yeah. points, finishing points. There's specific beginnings and endings to this. This isn't uh, this isn't like religion or some you know maybe so. This is a specific. Right. You do it science. this way, or it won't work. Right. It's an exact science. Yeah. This is new. Physics. Wow. Well. Yeah. It's new physics. Okay. So if I'm a I'm a regular Joe and I don't really have a lot of knowledge in your area, and I say, well. If you're experimenting, huh? How do you know Sorry. for sure that you found the right answer? Sorry, I got to I have to do you know, agree with Larry. Put a jumper. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I have to disagree. This is not new. Put a jumper on one 
There's no such Not thing new physics? New what physics. is it? It's just new discoveries. The physics. Yeah, the right. Yeah. It, the ancients knew all of this. I'm being facetious. And it, even, even the Hopi knew this. The Hopi shortened some of their sand drawings. Yeah. Stick a Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch. Yeah, it, but it's new to the people today. It's not taught. Right. It's new to me. I, I, I would have never in, found the, most of this stuff out without you guys. Well, most people will look at you funny if you say vault phones and amps. What? Yeah. <laughs> Is that something to do with that electrical stuff? Uh, yeah. Well, I don't you can't that, you can't blame us. I used to be there until I I yeah. came into a job opportunity to work with a crazy guy that was doing that, and I didn't learn a lot, but I learned enough to work on hot wire. <laughs> yeah, uh, and everybody people, knows that I don't. Mm. Yeah, but you can change these plugs okay. and light switches while the power is on. You just got to do it in an order. Keep things separate and yeah. just be careful. Pay attention to what you're yeah. doing. Don't, yeah. don't yeah. light a joint yeah. halfway through. <laughs> Never no. let the two hours touch. But, but see, everything's made to sound so uh, dangerous, and and it sparks. And it, it, if you do it wrong, mm. look what happens. Well, if you put your attention on doing it correctly, <laughs> the time that you do it wrong is the way of the world. You can get yeah, but you can grab the damn wires and it's not going to kill you. It's just going to give exactly. you a uh, jolt. I was setting up for that. Rob. <laughs> hey, Rob killed my ending. Thanks, Mr. Buzzkill. Damn it, I did But it. So what I was saying is when, when you finally do it wrong, you find out that, oh, that's it. That's what everybody's afraid of? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa, big deal. But, I mean, it's not like you're going to hang on to it for 30 seconds, but brush in a hot line depending on what you're running <laughs> like, it, I'm always jumping ahead if you follow for you're all right just always jump to the end because <laughs> 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 I read the book mm. <laughs> that's the first thing I did I have the books read the first two weeks of school I never carried a book around after that the teacher be in class, they could teach us something, and I'd be, yeah, I did that, did that, and that, and I'd be to the end. <laughs> They're like, damn, I had 30 minutes <laughs> left to, to kill them. <laughs> I just went to the end. Anyway, sorry. Like, uh, We're all uh, blah, 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 blind, blind today, today, Rob. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Hey, you think there's going to be any bad results from people hoarding? <laughs> I, I was listening to, uh, who was it talking about? The toilet paper? Uh, on the paper? What? Well, you know, where people had gone out hoarding shit when the, they thought there was going to be any toilet paper, and then they tried to return it. Yeah. You can't return it. Wow. you got to keep it all. <laughs> yeah, so you don't need to buy wow. toilet paper for two years. Well, how did all that work out for anybody you know? I don't. I didn't do any of that. Nobody I know. I. I didn't do that. I bought a, an extra thing of toilet paper, but I, I'm always one to stock up anyway. Right. No, I'm talking about that massive hoarding mentality where you get a year year's worth or no, two years for that. Oh, uh, you know anybody that did? Mm-hmm. No. No. Oh, not at all. Hmm. Huh. Wonder how much of this shit I am OCD about it for the painting though. Does that make I'm crazy? <laughs> I don't know. You're as crazy as you want to be. It's up to you. The guy looking on is just looking in the mirror. So hey, Hans. What? Yeah. My imaginary friend on the Real Liberty Media. Yeah. Honestly. Oh, I thought he said something or something. I missed it. Well, because I always say mean I things. I keep wondering. I keep wondering who that old man looking back at me in the mirror is. Oh, that's your friend, Time. <laughs> say yeah. hi, Mister Time. Moon girl. 
He sure has to be ugly. But the inside never seems to recognize any difference. You know, as I, as I've grown older, except the outside changes. But the inside yeah, thing, the brain I'm still a teenager. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm still a teenager. Well, I still like to know where all these grouchy fuckers come from. Must be from getting hurt or crippled or something. Maybe mentally. <laughs> Maybe they're having mental problems that we don't recognize as that. So it takes them, you know, they take it out on themselves and make themselves crippled. Yeah. There's so much remedy available, so to be crippled in 2020 is a choice. Yes. To be stupid I've got all kinds of wacky ideas. Yeah, but there are many people following the stupid road. <laughs> There's a it's, road? What? I think it's comfortable. But any information that you want is available on the internet. Go to the white papers of any subject. True, I've said that myself. And don't believe don't believe everything you hear. Me and Larry are do your own research. Wow. Yeah. Damn, Larry. We're not supposed to agree on everything. Stop it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> we're, supposed, we're supposed to be divided and conquered. By God, get with it. Argue with me about something. <laughs> know what it be? Now, uh, let me piss them all off. Yeah. In the beginning, God created man, yeah. and then man created God, so they'd have somebody to blame his shortcomings on. No, oh, did it work? Uh -oh. How did it work uh -oh. out for them? Hell no. Hell no, it didn't work. It's as good of a story as politics, and it works. I don't get how it works, but it does. I see it work. I can understand the flag, the gov you know, the the tribe or the country or whatever, the big thing to a point. But the little thing is like, well, hmm. I don't want to wave your flag, man. <laughs> but well, let's let's think about reality. If an atom is real. And we sort of can prove that because we've got an electron microscope that can give you a digital image of what it might look like. So we'll we'll just accept that as fact. So you get a little bit bigger, and you've got a solar system with the sun in the middle and all the planets going around it just like an atom. And you get a little bit bigger, and you've got galaxies all rotating around, making the same thing. So maybe the whole universe is one organism and we're just the atoms or parts of the atom inside that organism? I've thought of that. Wow. I've not thought of that. I'm still not thinking of that. I've thought of that many times. All my life. Wow. <laughs> Pass. Yeah. Yeah. But... It, an, an atom is just a solar system, but it's a little bitty. So the universe is just one giant. Amount so that's expanding. Maybe <laughs> one giant multi-celled organism. Yeah, yeah. possible in it. Yeah. And everything ha everything has the three properties: the vibration, electricity, and magnetism. So everything does that. So everything is similar to everything else in those three properties. So maybe little and big is the same thing. <laughs> Just wow! Like little cells in our body. I was watching but some video we, the other day about that. The, every cell in our body is a complete living organism. With yeah, with and and we make a computer that's the size of your cell phone, but but the Mayans made a computer the size of a of a sixty acre temple complex. Right. So, isn't it just it's all like the same thing? Bigger than your computer. <laughs> yeah, I've got the macro and the micro. I've oh. been listening. Oh, holy shit. Oh. Newsflash. Uh, Newsflash. Yeah. Democrats yeah. call for aid cut to Israel. 
over animation. It's a performance by the politicians because they would never they would never pass it. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, the Democrats are going to yeah. take the black eye for uh, for it's, putting it's, a bill out there. Nobody's going to sign. Fake out. Yeah, it's a fake out. Ah, please. Psych. Wasn't it you, Rob, that was just posting the Nola Hyde laws that have come to the front doorstep of the American voter yeah. and all his friends and family? Because that's who it applies to, all this stuff, this Jewish shit. Yeah. The citizen, the willing participant in the self-ass whipping of government. <laughs> Oh, I know. That, me yeah, and Robert kind of stuck on that. But. Black Lives Matter canceled because they're making anti-Semitic remarks. <laughs> Black Lives Matter. Na -na 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 -na, you're a Jew. Yeah, you're <laughs> what the fuck? Is shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you really think that rocks people, that word shit, it's just the excuse to go, fuck you, we're raising your rates. <laughs> And it's not about no insult or thin-skinned or sensitive. It's about a reason to make things more expensive if you complain. <laughs> and it works. The, the public buys it as a punishment. See what the banks are doing to us? Because you were mean to the Jews, you idiots. <laughs> yeah, you stepped in the wrong pile of shit that time. Wow, Jewish supremacy is so cool. <laughs> Can get away with yeah, anything. They get away with it. Yeah, I could kill an Arab and get a parade after me for doing it. Yeah. Just show <laughs> my Jew Jew Juniors. See, I was I was afraid for my life. Mm -hmm. That God Arab had a rock. God told me to do it. That too. Well, I forget. Yeah. I forget what word you got to say in Jew guy to talk. Oh yeah. It's different. If you're gonna play the game, you gotta got yeah. rules. Yahweh. Being a monster game, you got, you know, then you got slang. <laughs> Yahshua. Where's what, speaking what's fucking the Jew, What? What's the Jewish book that tells how to do the magic? Oh, is that the Torah? The Kabbalah. Kabbalah? The Kabbalah. Wait, wait. No, the Torah is yeah. the Bible. Yeah, meter on Dan. It's the Kabbalah. Donna. The Kabbalah. Okay, ask Donna. She'll know. Hi, Donna. <laughs> well, she's on the... Okay, she's she's lo, um, logged on. I guess she's not listening. <laughs> Jewish book. <laughs> yeah, the Kabbalah. 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 Kabbalah. Uh, mocking my own people. Oh, there. Uh, they make it stop. <laughs> oh, the pain. I feel so hurt. Wow. Well, magic... Magic is the right words said in the right language with the right metals and the right symbol to, to look at, to, to focus on. And all that is is frequency magic. If you don't say the, the right words in the right language, you, you could say the right words, but in English, and it wouldn't put out the same frequency as it would in the right language. So the right language, the right words, with the proper metal to, to bounce that frequency off of and something to concentrate on to give your mind focus. That's magic. Hmm. Seems to work. I thought it was advertising with it. It's just well, like that's principle, here. isn't it? It's advertising, they get your well, yeah, but with something sparkly or somebody that you look up to, and then they con you into giving up a lot of money to have something that's not very valuable. <laughs> well, magic is directed toward adults, and commercials are directed toward eight-year-olds. Oh, man. Eight-year-old adults. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't find their advertising very appealing. Actually, it repels me, so I usually avoid it. Yeah. Me too. That's why I have a DVR. I fast forward through all the commercials. Oh, yeah. But you know what they say? It's, yeah. it's 
The salesman is the easiest one to sell. There's Donna. Did you hear your name? Hey, there she is. Yeah. Hi, well, Donna. You know the two, two juniors, but answers. Mary answered it. She she agreed with me. It was the blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm probably gonna burn somewhere for a while. I suppose. You know, if I got religion someday, I'd be on the losing end of that because I know all the bad shit I did. <laughs> and isn't the point of all that crap to be honest? Who'd want to? Who'd want to bother with any? Fuck all that. I'm going with that. That's a nice story. I don't want to play in. Oh, that's, that's why you get to just repent at the last minute, and it's all good. That's why you get to be a Catholic. You. Yeah, you just That's why you're a Catholic. Why you get to be a Catholic? So you should do whatever you want to during the week, and once a week say I'm sorry, and it's cool. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but the financial it's benefits of Judy Judy. <laughs> and my Trump card. I mean, come on, I got the race card of all time. Drop a hundred dollar wow. bill in the donation box. Oh, yeah. When when investment people call me. I say, is this really a good deal? Am I really going to get rich by doing this investment? Oh, yeah. I said, well, are you a millionaire? <laughs> well, no. Uh, well, well if it works so well, how come you're not tonight? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Hannah's saying hi, guys. Sorry. Uh, hi, Hannah. Hi. It's, it, I've seen a link today that said it's easier to... to to trick people than it is to convince them they've been tricked. And boy, is that's that right. Wow. He's here to fool a fool and to convince a fool that he's been fooled. Ooh, ouch. I, well, he's, I didn't put it that strongly. Fucking wrong. Barnum is one born every minute. Hmm. Uh, W.C. Fields. There's a whole l list of all these sly guys from the past. Guys. We're... Well, what do we got now today to look up to as far as society? Trump and Putin? Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> oh. 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 The next president yeah, of the United States, to, Joe to Biden. That. Wow. Tell your kids, hey, this is the guy you want to be like. <laughs> but sadly, the other side of that is people here uh, are just sick of Trump. We're so fucked. Okay. They don't know about Biden. They just know he's not Trump. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. They don't know. So there you go. They're going to go, hey, we're for the other guy. Get rid of Trump. <laughs> That's yeah, we're we're Maybe. so far beyond fucked. It's Maybe. not believable. Anybody but that guy. No, we're, we're, yeah, we're we're done. I think that I think it's done. Do you think it's done yet? It was done for me thirty or, years ago, bro. Right, but they're still dragging the yeah. corpse of society down the road. Yeah, well, we're yeah. watching them burn it. They're cooking it right on fucking internet links. Hey, put it out. No, let it burn. Yeah. <laughs> Books have been written okay. for, for a hundred years now about it. It's just nothing new. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway. <laughs> well, now everybody's chatting at once. What happened? Yeah. We're all reading Did we? we are all saying the same thing. We are all set, are, like I've been telling you for how many years now? <laughs> yeah, but it's not funny to hear it. <laughs> it's one thing to read it, but when you hear it, you got that, that Southern accent thing going on and, and all that. And they all suck. It's, you got to remember, I live with the D Danish woman that thinks American accents are exotic. Yeah. So it's it's fun to to do all this stuff. <laughs> well, I I don't speak two words of Danish still, but I find myself understanding little, little bits and pieces here and there. Yeah. But and and they all it's not well. Well. Listen to say, hey, my boy gets fucked out. How do you yeah, but it's not in, anything to comment on. Or, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's nothing like that. It's just. Uh, it's not worth the energy to, to participate in that. I wouldn't, you know, what would I gain out of 
their personal conversation. Eh. Better off left not knowing. Yeah, it's just annoying to me. Well, right, but see, in my life, that's how it worked out for me, is I got what I wanted, which was silence, in a sense, because I don't know what they're fucking saying. I don't have to think about it. Yeah. Just sit there and just veg out and be in a place where nobody's going to do me any harm. That's kind of cool, especially this time with all the shit I'm seeing on the Internet. I know I shouldn't brag about how, you know, life is so good, but, hey, life is fucking good. (laughs) Sorry, everyone. That brought Dick Rod down. You know, I invented a new character for the RLM. He did. Hmm. He lurks the hallowed halls of the Real Liberty Media chat. His name is Lurky (laughs) Lurkenstein. Lurky He's not a Jew. Steen. He's just like Steen. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, you know, I get on in the morning, there's so nobody around. So he's, Cowboy a, tech. So he's a crypto non-Jew. <laughs> yeah, and I write little, little, you know, cracks about what lurk, the guy's lurking around the, the, the chat site, reading the chat. Because <laughs> there's people that do that. You know? I've done that. You ever done that? What? No, nobody answers to it. I lurk, lurk. Yeah, I lurk all the yeah. time. Oh. Yeah, I lurk all the time. What's, what's the best thing you get out of lurking? I and I, you're right. You have to be present to lurk, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's got rule. <laughs> But, but, oh but, but. <laughs> I have no presence. It's the irony of the whole thing is people <laughs> think anarchists are just scattered fucking morons, and they're not. They're just lazy people that have guidelines. So misunderstood, man. Yeah, you're you're just a lazy fucker with guidelines. What? Uh, anarchist. It, it's not like a, a movement. That? It's not like we're going to get together and do shit. We're not going to have a fucking barbecue. <laughs> no, I don't think so. We're not going to Aunt Roma's house. None of that shit. What? Anarchists, we <laughs> sit back and just watch. You said my and, we get all the, and we get all the blame for the, the violence. And I, I'm kind of upset about that. No wonder nobody would shut up when I was trying to talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is that too loud, or is it coming through okay? I don't know. Was I loud? Ooh. Hey, the there's chat was saying my sound was low. Uh-oh. Yeah, and you have a low voice, too, when you talk. Yeah. And you get deep in thought. Do I get all animated, and then I talk over? <laughs> <and I>? <laughs> <laughs> it's not too often, but you, you, you make me giggle every now and again. <laughs> But fuck, what a what a crew we, the three of us must be all at one time. Yeah, hey, we have fun. <laughs> well, we all diff, we all see the same damn thing at the same time, but with three different ways of explaining it. <laughs> Perspective. I see that part where I see the agreement, but I see the levels of understanding that go along with it. It's kind of fun. Oh, and the reason I was having you send me those pics the other yesterday was my buddies came by about some pot related thing and I had the uh I had the drop in a coil podcast stuff and the kids say, Coil, let me see a coil. <laughs> and we could not on the internet we could not find a, a picture of just a regular coil. So I re- I resorted to my friend Rob and figured, well it's already on the internet. I'm not gonna hurt anyone showing a kid but he was so impressed with what he saw that you did, and you didn't even do it right. Yeah. But the kid saw this new coil in a way that struck him really hard. Hey, yeah. well, how do I find out how this works? <laughs> so I told him all about the the show. Yeah. And they're already, that, yeah, they use RLM to find me because I don't have a cell phone. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that your friend that comes in sometimes and... Yeah, yeah, and his roommate, and now the the other kid's a roommate, so now there's three of them. Yeah. Uh, but the third kid is interested. He went right to the show. He was, like, all about it. 
So I played him a little spot of Larry talking in the beginning about the coil. And he says, yeah, how do I get this? And they're going to hook him up. <laughs> cool. Hey, you never know. Maybe this kid wants to do it or he knows somebody. But whatever, little, little spark. You may, have just, yeah, you may have just lit a spark in somebody that's going to go on to, to build something. And even if it didn't happen that way, just to see it in you know my physical life, a result from having a show with you guys. With a complete stranger just coming by happenstance with a friend. That's how. And the next thing you know, get them to contact. And okay, as time goes on, I'll, I'll, I'm trying to get them on wire so that we can stop using the RLM for a, a meeting place. So I told them about wire the other day. Get them to contact me on yeah, right. I, I can, um, I can pass on information when I see them next, but I'll. It's just amazing to me that it, in person I'm getting this. Yeah. So if it wasn't real, if I didn't truly believe it, I wouldn't draw that kind of person into my 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 home to yeah. see what I was looking at to go, hey, I want to know more about that. Well, yeah. Because I thought that's what we were actually trying to accomplish in the first place. So yeah, wow. if, if we if we can get the young people interested and and get them the knowledge. Yeah, then they can take the ball and run. There will be flying mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. I'm getting too old for this shit. Yeah, and you have to pass, pass, pass on the knowledge. We got to pass on the torch. Yeah, and that's yeah. exactly what I'm telling these guys. You know, maybe you met me to see this, so that you know you can find out if you want to pursue it. I don't know; it's possible because you noticed it. I didn't bring it to you, so we're in agreement and about the whole thing. Oh, yeah. We've got people in Denmark. See? We've got people in the group in Denmark and, and in Norway and in Sweden. Oh, well, yeah, that's in the Monday morning or the Monday meeting. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, see, this, is, <laughs> this isn't just uh, one of those conspiracy theory things, people. This is real life. It just It's so simple it looks complicated. I think the the cornerstone is wrapped on a bunch of wire. It's being interested to wrap some wire. Yeah. To see where it'll go, what yeah. you can make. Well, not all of us are the same, but if in groups we bring that shit that's necessary out of the other people. You know, it's like um, how I see your Monday meeting team. You're shortcoming, somebody else is strong in it. You're strong, they're short. Yeah. That's how that's, it works. Yeah. You that's, depend on each other to know thing. because you don't have time to learn every freaking detail of what they know. You need to trust that yeah. they know and they're not going to deceive you. <laughs> that's yeah. Yeah, the, that. Well, we're all trying to spot the same ball. When you're doing it in an open source fashion, nobody's trying to hide anything, so that's all true. Ta da. Good moves, Larry. I'm yeah, well, that ain't always right. We we had an open source hydrogen guy, supposedly open source hydrogen guy, and he he came up with some pretty amazing results, and I know how he did it. So I asked him, I said, did you accomplish that through magnetism? And he says, oh, that's proprietary. I can't, I can't discuss that. Well, he's not open source. Yeah, what have happened to open source? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so what I'm talking about. Open source is a point. Yeah. You would, would never say a thing like that, so you know you're being screwed yeah. right there. It's the whole point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no secrets. We don't need the secrets. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They really hurt us. The only reason, reason to do that is because of greed. Yeah. That's proprietary. I have to pr yeah. protect my investment. I have to, yep. I have to make it so I can make all the money on it. Well, and I, I quit doing what he's doing ten years ago. Uh, uh, so he ain't, he ain't got nothing special. Uh, he's adding a little bit of frequency to and magnetism to split hydrogen at a lower amperage. Everybody can do it. It, it ain't. Yeah, it's not. It either. ain't rocket science. Oh. Yep. Well, that's that's the goal here is to make 
some some of this simpler so you can find your niche if you have an interest. There you go. Maybe build a team of your own to make one. Who knows? Anything's possible with the Internet. We, we're all connected. We've got cameras and microphones and privacy and all kinds of shit to work with if you're, if you're interested. So, And that's what I find myself doing just because of life taking me where it goes. It gives me an opportunity to tell other people what I learn here. Okay, well, it's practical, and, and I'm applying it in a foreign country, and I'm blown away that it happened. So, hmm. yeah. Well, it's always exciting to, to share something with somebody that's that, uh, positive, that gets, gets a thrill out of it, you know, I mean, gets it. Gets a spark. Oh, yeah. You could see the excitement in the behavior. And he was speaking a lot of Danish to Magnus because he couldn't translate fast. So he's like, (laughs) blah, 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 blah. And he had a million questions. Oh, yeah. You know, so, wow, there you go. I think the goal to this is to open up that question door. People go through it and see where it takes them. Yeah. And so I don't you, know. Maybe you, you got a plan. Any, or did you give him the links to listen to the show? Yeah, I thought they're connected to um, to RLM to find me already through the chat. Okay. So I was showing him how to navigate. And yeah, it's ah, so, so easy. So he made I, if, if I can show somebody how to navigate a, a site, it's idiot proof. <laughs> My strength is not the computer. Everybody <laughs> I know knows that. But I, here I opened up the uh, RLM forms, show them, and it went right to do, do, push this. Do, there you go. All the shows start at one, go. You know. Yeah. Also, it explains everything. The only problem I got is opening up uh, a past show of the drop in the coil with the uh, notes in it. I don't know how to do that. And I never think of asking until, well, like right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, <girl's> here. <laughs> But see, it, it was just to show the site to somebody else. But yeah. these kids know how to use a computer ten times better than me. But yeah, just give them reallibertymedia.com. dot com. They they'll find it if they want to. Ah oh, man, they've sent shit from the computer to their phone. Uh, you know, and all this kind yeah. of crap. Yeah. Fuck, I don't they know. know <laughs> I don't yeah. want to know, but they're smart in ways just that point them in I'm the not. right direction. They'll find it. I hope. And I'm an American too, visiting their country, and yeah, yeah. You know, they they consider me like a a peer because I smoke. Yeah, yeah, it was so nice. The kid brings by a bag. Hey, we brought you a bud. Oh no, nice. because I'll you know I'll invite them over for a cool. spliff and coffee, and then they'll come back and hey, I brought this for you. Yeah. So, well, wow, what in, to be. in this time, it's just so amazing to me that I'm. You know, having these good things happen. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Well, I've read a lot of bad shit, Rob. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's two minutes. I'm, I'm done with my hosting stuff tonight and interactions with Larry and Rob. Trying to come up with brilliant things to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody, for letting me play along this week. Yes, sir. Good to have you. Yeah, it's my pleasure. I'll tell you. But I thought you guys might want to have something brilliant to say for the end of the show. Nope, I got nothing. I got one thing. Ta-da! Anything you can imagine, you can do. Anything you can imagine, you can do. Don't let anybody tell you it's not possible. Some things are just harder to accomplish than others. Yeah. The only way to fail is to give up. Yeah, yeah. If at first you don't succeed, quit. That ain't the attitude. <laughs> yeah. That'll, that'll end it. <laughs> uh, you're fired. <laughs> If you don't want to be motivational, don't give up. (laughs) Is that an official Trump quote? You're fired. (laughs) 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 How appropriate. (laughs) Oh, well. Oh, man. I'm done now. All right. 
Thanks for playing, everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks for being here, Larry. Thanks for playing, Rob and Larry. Thanks and for all your knowledge and sharing everything. And we will see you all again next week. Same time, same channel.